with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Elliott now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We need E! Crunch time, defense. Get There's Garoppolo on first and ten. Flushed out right. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Here we go. Black From the 24, they'll go again on second and ten. Ready? to throw is Garoppolo. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. 65, 65. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. And he finds a man on the crossing round. 19 yards there on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's gonna be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Here we go. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. Give him a couple on the carry there, go, second and eight. White, white, white. What do you need? Throwing on second and eight, Garoppolo. Coleman has it here right side. Call it a gain of five, and that's going to lead to a third down. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. 11, 11, 11, 11. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Here we go. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion, and both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. On third down, a run from Breda. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here we go. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Check. 
check. Dick, Dick, get hot. They run for the Brita. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. Kyle Shanahan, an offensive mind, but his guys stopped up short. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Let's go. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 10 yards there and an eagle first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Deshaun Jackson, 49 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Here offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. On first down, here's Brita. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Guys, it's game situation. Let's go. On second down, it's Coleman. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Two yards, good enough for a first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. 
At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On second down, it's Coleman. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. Goodwin able to haul it in. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Here we go, here we go. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. On second down now, it's Coleman. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. Dancing to his left. And now Garoppolo lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. The big fella. He's at the 50. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now it's Sproles. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Here's Sproles. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Back to you. On first down, they run with Howard. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. They run with Howard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Check pass, check pass. Yeah. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. On the screen, this is Coleman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I'll guarantee you he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. To throw, it's wins. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Wentz to throw. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Wentz now to throw. Going for the deep ball. It's caught at the 10. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. On first and goal, Howard. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. They'll run it with Sproles. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Wentz now on third and goal. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Deshaun Jackson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Elliott good with a PAT. And yeah, that makes our score 17 0. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. He's going to air one out, and that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Garoppolo. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Now Garoppolo. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A heck 
heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. 11-11. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. The pass rush specialist, D Ford, in on the stop. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. taken down but not before he works it past the 50. 19 yards to pick up there move the chains wins hurts over the middle five yards on the catch there brings up second down second and five after the five yard completion on first down scrolls and he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. Wentz now on first down. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. This pass complete. Wentz to Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz, 35 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Now Wentz going to lead the Eagles up to go for two. Now a toss coming right side. Howard. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Oh, boy, rubbing a little salt in the wound there going for two up this big. You know, there's one time when I played, Brandon, and played against a team that was just absolutely pile-driving us, and they ended up going for two late in the game. And I asked one of the guys, why'd you do that? He said, because we wanted to win by more. That feels like that type of situation. Wow. Well, it could also result in a melee later, though. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Let's go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. 
Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense, here we go, here we go. great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, here we go, here we and especially go. against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Derek Barnett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And from their own end zone, it's a fake, but he will not make the first down marker. That'll be a turnover on downs. Offense back out now for first and goal after the successful fake. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. They'll try and run it now with Sproles. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. A three-yard touchdown run. And